so there is this village party in a neighboring village and uh, they have a watermelon eating contest so we're on our way there I'm gonna give it my best shot see how well I can do I think the kids are tempted to uh, <laughs> Sneak a head start. Alors, on va baver un peu, mais c'est pas grave. Hein. Il y a des serviettes après. Hein. Alexandre, t'as presque fini là. All right, that went well. It broke and fell on the ground, so part of it I was like chewing gravel. <laughs> All right. So we're back from the watermelon eating contest, which I must say was a bit of a disappointment. And uh, I didn't take it very seriously. And so I think I came in only second, although I, I did drop a piece of my um, melon slice on the ground, so I was chewing some gravel and stuff for a while but it, it was uh, on the whole <laughs> a bit of a fun thing uh, so this half weighs about 8.4 kilos and usually with the watermelon I calculate about two-thirds edible but this one has quite thick rinds so I'm gonna say about five kilos uh, edible we will weigh it afterwards and, and see so I can uh, put it in the video. All right, let's get to it. First, I always go for a spoonful from the middle. Mmm, this is the stuff. All right, then I start eating closest to the rind for two reasons. Mm. One reason is that it is less sweet and tasty, close to the rind. This one is pretty good though. It, it tastes good, even close to the rind. And the second reason is that when I eat around the rind like this, I dig like a ditch. So that when I eat the rest of the watermelon, uh, no watermelon juice will be running over the edge and making a mess out of the whole thing. All right, let's really dig into this now. <laughs> so this watermelon half weighed in at about 8.6 kilos, just under five kilos edible, and I ate 4.2 kilos. That turns out to be somewhere around 1200 calories. I get more than 25 grams of protein, which is plenty enough to sustain a completely healthy body although we might want a little bit more if we're trying to to build or, or if we are working out a lot if you have a look over here at the macronutrient or calorie breakdown chart you can see that we have 89 percent carbs almost seven percent protein and four percent fat at the bottom you can see that in this one single meal i have reached about 65 percent on my nutritional target for the day, 
without adding any greens, I have gotten up to 50% of my recommended calcium intake and more than 100% when it comes to iron. Also, the high levels of vitamin C will make that iron very much absorbable. Here is a more complete breakdown of the registered micronutrients in this meal. You can see that many vitamins and minerals are very high. Even though this is not a fatty meal at all, you can see that the omega-6 fatty acids are quite high compared to the omega-3. This will even out though through the day as I eat other fruits and greens. Okay, I'm done. So I did not finish the whole thing, almost the whole thing. Um, I think it's quite important that even though you try and train your, your body and your stomach and your digestive system to be able to accommodate the, the, <clears throat> the larger amounts of food that you need to eat on a fruitarian diet in order to get all the energy you need for exercise or life or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, you must also learn to be able to sense when it's just enough. Um, I could put this in, I could eat the rest of it, but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty full, I'm satisfied. Um, and I definitely had enough food so I'm just gonna leave that for for later um, I don't know exactly how much I ate in terms of kilos uh, I will put it on the scale and put it in here in text um, but yeah there you have it I ate this in almost 45 minutes so Watermelon, for example, can take quite some time to eat or if you have a big smoothie or something. Um, but if you take 45 minutes, that's nothing compared to um, preparing, cooking food and then serving it, sitting down, eating, washing up all the dishes, doing everything um, with the, that's required you know, when, you, when you're eating cooked. So maybe it was a lot more to eat, maybe it took a little bit longer to eat, but um, it's awesome because it actually takes less time, less than 45 minutes. I take a knife, chop the melon in half, take my spoon, start eating. And then when I'm done, I rinse the spoon, um, throw this on the compost, I'm done. <clears throat> It's awesome. Uh, when it comes to melon, some people really complain a lot about getting a melon belly when eating a lot of watermelon, for example. Uh, you can get it from other fruits too. Um, basically, it's about your digestive capability or your digestive ability that is lacking a bit. Um, this can, of course, be because of different reasons, but um, one, one reason that is not so uncommon, I think, and that some people are talking about, is that we lack a mineral chromium that is needed for the digestion of the fruit sugar. And when we do not have enough of this, um, we can get problems digestive larger amounts of, of fruit and fruit sugar. Um, in a short period of time. So for some people it has helped taking a chromium supplement. I have never done this but I have been eating raw for many years and I have been eating tons, lots and lots of greens, broccoli, spinach, everything, you name it. Um, not kale though. I used to eat a bit kale uh, several years ago, but I stopped because I noticed this is not this is not appropriate food for humans. It's way too much um, um, insoluble fiber, way too much cellulose. It will um, it will hurt your digestive tract. 
but um, yeah so I guess I have been building up my mineral stores I have um, recovered my health my digestive tract my digestive system um, has gotten the opportunity to to heal and to function pretty well and so I have no problems putting this amount of melon in and digesting it um, well in terms of volume it's gonna fill me up I'm I'm a bit full now but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push the limits now I did that before I pushed the limits at every meal and I ate often so that I could expand my stomach a bit in order to uh, get used to it to accommodate the the um, uh, the volume of food that I need to eat to to stay healthy and to stay active and to have a good life <clears throat> so that's done for me now I can eat two meals per day if I want and still stay satisfied in terms of calories uh, I try to eat three meals but yeah really I have the ability to take in enough food which is critically important if you're going to succeed on this lifestyle anyways you go out buy some watermelon go raw stay raw and keep on keeping on